Hello. I'm making my my strips, my little sticky strips. And I pulled out this bulletin board border and I cut out a bunch of sticky strips and this is what's left after I did that. I wanted to save a couple pieces to use as borders on cards, but the rest of them, all, this, all the strips are in here from this one. And I did this one. So all the strips are in here and the three little extra pieces for the border. Then I did this one already. That's really pretty. And all the strips are in this bag with the three extra pieces. And now I'm doing the silver and gold. Look at this, look how glittery that is. That is just gorgeous. But it's not really glitter. It feels like plastic, it's really weird. But I just put the, the tape on the back of this one already. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the tape on the back of this gold one. pretty. Alrighty. So now I just gotta burnish that down. There. Then I need to get my cutting board. And I guess we'll work on the silver one first. So I usually cut them like six inches. And then I go back and trim them. So six. How much is left? Let's see. If I do that. Five and five. I'm just going to go ahead and do six. And then I'll just have the extra pieces. That's okay. All right. And then we'll do this one. Six and six and scrap. Okay. So we'll do the, the gold first. And you can line it up looking at the, the marks on here to see where you're cutting um, so that you can get exact exact widths or you can do what I do and just just go for it. I'm just looking on the, the outer edge here how much how much is there and I'm trimming on approximately an eighth of an inch at a time. Oh, those little golden slivers are so pretty. do them wider or thinner or whatever depending on your cutting abilities of an inch alrighty so I can just cut that right on the edge this one right on the edge perfect there okay so that's good and then do the next one such a simple easy thing to do and there's 18 strips of these borders the poster board are, or the bulletin board borders there's 18 yep 18 pieces in it that's amazing so you get a lot of these strips out of those. Yep. And all different colors, all different textures. Oops, I've got just enough to do two more strips. One and the last one. Where's the edge? a little bit thicker on that side. Okay, let's Okay, we've got one more little slice to go. There we go. Alrighty. 
And one more to cut. As you can see, doing just one color it doesn't take that long. Just a few minutes. gets down to the bare minimum left and I kind of look at it just to see where I am. It looks like I can get two more slices. That one and this one. All right, so that's the gold is done. That's pretty. And my arm's a bit tired now, so I think I better quit and listen to my arm. But look at how many gold strips I got. And we still have this left too, so I could cut more strips or I could punch out, I do like to punch out um, hearts and butterflies out of this too, so that's pretty. Or sometimes just the, use the border, so that's pretty neat. All right, I need to grab another bag. And I found these snack snack uh, bags. There's 38 in here for a dollar from the Dollar Tree, and it's called Snack Portion Pack. So that's not too shabby either for for a dollar. And then I just throw all this right in here. So that just adds to my little collection here. So trying to keep them all separate. So there you go. And that's how I cut my strips up. So in these ones, I'll just go ahead and stick in a bag and I'm gonna to have to cut these ones next time so that I don't hurt my arms. So put those in here so I don't forget that they need to be cut and that'll give me something to do tomorrow. All right, so if you like this type of video, then please give me a thumbs up and until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.